Let me begin by thanking Mrs. Burroughs for that kind introduction. I am very pleased to have been invited to speak here today on what I know is a very special day. It's a special day for graduates, for their proud parents and grandparents, and for their very relieved teachers. Just wait until these students are graduating from college. Then their parents will be the relieved ones. As I begin today, I have to say, I think the best speeches are those that have a great beginning, a memorable ending, and not much in between. I will try then to make this a great speech. Today is one of those great occasions when we get to celebrate our young people, their achievements, their perseverance, and their successes as they grow up. It's one of the times you can take a break and reflect, feeling good as a parent or a mentor, knowing that the kids you care about are doing just fine and they're on the right path. Graduates, you should know that your moms, your dads, and your caretakers are proud of you today. They have high hopes for you and they believe in you and you are making them proud by showing what you can do. Take a look at them now and you can see them smiling and snapping photos so they can record this moment forever. Today is an important day for you and for them. Today they are very, very proud of you. Today would be a good day to ask for money. Today would also be a good day to hug them and thank them for supporting you. Because as much as this is your achievement, this is also the achievement of the people who care about you. That means your mom, your dad, your stepmom, your stepdad, your grandparents, your sisters and brothers, and all the other people who care about you. They want you to be at your best and to live up to your potential. Graduations can be seen as a coming of age, a sort of official way to recognize when a person steps into the next stage of life. And graduates, you are stepping into a new stage. With every year, you have become a little more independent. I bet you can still remember your first day here. It might have been exciting and a little intimidating too. I bet you look at the kindergarten kids go into class now and think, wow, they look so little. I can't believe I was ever that young. Get used to it. You'll be thinking that for the rest of your life. But when you see younger students, you can tell how much you've grown up, how much you've learned, and how much you've matured. Think back to some of the exciting things you did just this year, all the things you learned. You had some great times this year. And maybe you had some tough times too, but you did it and you succeeded. You're ready for that next step. I ask you as you prepare for this next step to do a few things. First, stop nudging your friend about how you wish the speaker would hurry up and finish talking so you can go and have some fun. Secondly, I ask you to remember this, if nothing else that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You being here in this world is not by chance. God chose you. He created you and he has plans for your life. He said in Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So even when the people who who should care about you most don't seem to care, God cares and you can always depend on him. Take this chance to dedicate yourself to him and ask his help to make the coming year even better. Remember that you don't have to follow the crowd. Do the right thing, even if no one is looking. Continue to study hard. And remember that you are investing in yourself with every test you take and every book you read. And that one of those books should be the Bible. And finally, don't be in too big of a hurry to grow up. 
These are some great times in your life. Don't rush past them. These are great things coming. There are great things coming. And just as your parents are proud, each one of you should feel proud of yourself. So congratulations to all of the graduates. Congratulations to the parents. And finally, congrats to the teachers and everyone else who helped our graduates reach here today. I'll leave you with this final word. Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. But instead, be an example in speech, in the way you conduct yourself, in love, in faith, and in purity. And always remember that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Congratulations again and all the best to each and every one of you.